we want to use the diagram of the kite to find the value of RZ. So first, the way we want to look at it is highlight RZ, RZ. We want to make sure we know what we're solving for. We do know that we're working with these lengths right here. And we do know that this R is a midpoint between X, Z. So these are congruent to each other. So also we know that, that 14 will also be right here. So it really doesn't matter what we do here. And we know that this these diagonals are perpendicular. So we are going to be focusing on creating the right triangle. So we can just redraw this right triangle over here so we can see how we're going to do this Pythagorean theorem. Okay, that is our right angle. W is right here. Z is right here. Then we have R right here. We know this is 8. This is 14. But we want to know what RZ is. I draw an arrow from the right angle. That's my value of C. So that means we have our A, but we don't have our B. So our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're solving for our b. Um, I'm going to show a cool little trick. Uh, no, actually, I won't do that. So let's just do it as normal. We have 8 squared plus our b squared equals 14 squared. We get 64 plus b squared equals uh, 4 times 14. I think it's uh, 196. Yep, it's 196, we subtract 64, subtract 64, uh, 196 would be equal to b squared, uh, 2, 3, 132 I believe, it is 132, then you square root, square root, so you get the square root of 132 would be about, if we go by the tenths place, it would be 11.5. So we get b is equal to 11.5, and we do know the value of b is going to be rz. So really, rz is equal to 11.5. And that is our answer for number 25.